The Hyundai Veloster Turbo is equipped with a turbocharged 1.6-liter four-cylinder engine producing 201 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque. The intercooled and gasoline direct-injected four-banger cranks out more than 60 horsepower and 70 pound-feet of torque over the naturally aspirated 2012 Veloster we tested earlier this year. The official fuel economy estimates for the six-speed manual 2013 Hyundai Veloster Turbo are 26 city, 38 highway miles per gallon. That's a mere two mile per gallon drop from the base Veloster. We rolled up more than 500 miles in our manually equipped ultra black review unit and hit the official mileage estimates with an average of 39.3 miles per gallon on the interstate highway and 31.4 miles per gallon combined with temperatures in the 70s and 80s. While the turbo delivers a significantly improved 0 to 60 time over the naturally aspirated model, it's not mind-bendingly fast. The Veloster Turbo's interior features leather upholstery, heated front bucket seats, and adjustable power lumbar support for the driver only. The 8-speaker LG 450 watt dimension audio system provides AM, FM, Sirius XM satellite radio along with an MP3 CD drive and is fitted with an external amp and subwoofers. Hands-free Bluetooth and Hyundai's Blue Link telematics system are standard. Two 12-volt outlets can be found at the base of the dash on either side of the auxiliary audio and USB input jacks. Our tester was fitted with the ultimate option package, which includes a panoramic sunroof, backup warning sensors, automatic headlights, a 115 volt outlet in the center console, and a navigation system with backup camera. We're going to go for a little ride in the uh, Hyundai Veloster Turbo, and I'm going to show you the tools that you can use to achieve better gas mileage. There are four basic pieces of technology that make it easy. One is the upshift light that shows you when to go to a higher gear. Two is the thermometer style instant MPG gauge. Both of those are in between the speedometer and tachometer. The other two are right in here in the LCD. You go to the info screen and you've got Eco Coach and Blue Max. These are super powerful once you learn how to use them. Now, let's just go back to Eco Coach for a sec here. Eco Coach shows you your history, your driving history. So as you're motoring about, every couple of minutes it reports in. And you can see here, right here we're sitting here idling, so our Eco MPG is 0, 0.0. Just for now, because we're sitting idling. Not a good thing. Here, we pulled into the lot really bad. When you see orange, it's not good. When you see green, very good. Yellow, no, you're in traffic, you're in town. This blue bar is your running average. Pretty neat. So as you're driving, you keep an eye on this and you can, you can get a feel for how your segments are going. Blue Max is what you use to perfect your light-footed technique. So I'll show you, we'll, we'll take off on this uh, on this little little trip and I'll show you what it takes to get those numbers up. Always start with our seatbelt on. And I'll keep the window cracked a little bit so I don't have to turn the uh, ventilation on and make it noisy. We won't be going that quickly to start with. So let's just again we'll take a quick look at Eco Coach. You can see where we are. Our our baseline average right now is uh, 32.5. This 50, that was a coast. We were just cruising 45 downhill on the highway, foot off. Nice, nice, nice coast. So here we go. I'm going to go to the Blue Max screen. And uh, you can see we've got a parking lot to pull through. I'll start it right now. Now, Blue Max, it's like a little game. It shows you when you can lift and how much benefit there is from that instantaneously. So you'll see points over here. The points are racking up. We're pulling up to a stop sign. 
completely out of gear, coasting, it gets pretty high. Now I picked a nice shady route because it's kind of sunny. So we're good. Now if I drive like a nut, I got low scores. But once I let off, get into the right gear, we're cranking up to 100. So you'll see this score roll up. And the more time that you can get in the hundreds, or at 100, the better off you are. We'll go through this first little piece a little, uh, a little more aggressively. It's a fun little stretch of road. You gotta be really careful. bit of torque steer there when the turbo kicks in. Generally it's very well mannered the, the Monster Turbo. The, the power band doesn't hit until I don't know somewhere around four. I gotta look at the tape and look at it more closely. So it it's very controllable. It's easy to stay out of the uh, the the zone where you're gonna consume more fuel than you need to. Right now just going down a nice slight incline. We'll go to six gear and we'll roll that up. Maybe that's a little too loud with the window open. I'll put it up for a while. It's about uh, oh, 69 degrees outside, but because of the sun, it's really heating up the interior. So as much time as you can spend in a high gear with your, your foot as lightly as possible, the better you're going to score. That's, that's it in a nutshell. And Blue Max gives you that instant feedback. The MPG Omatic burn rubber, not gasoline philosophy, is get on the gas when you need to. And when you don't need to be on the gas, learn how to use inertia. It's that simple. The Hyundai Veloster Turbo lets you really take advantage of that. So right now we're tooling about at just under 40. I'm in sixth gear, around 1500 RPM, and uh, the instant MPG gauge shows me I'm pinned over here, and here we're, we're getting 100. So these numbers are awesome. I don't know how well I'll do. You know, I don't think I'm going to set a record on this one because I was a little uh, aggressive back there, but. Should be pretty good. You'll use Blue Max in your daily routine. In, in that these these 10 minute segments, you'll you'll know that oh man, the best I did yesterday on that piece of road on the way to work was a 3,650 or 36,050. Then the next day you'll try and beat it. But uh, it doesn't take into account changes in, in elevation, you know, you, overall scores, you, you can't pin one piece of road against another one and, and expect it to, to play the two against each other. You really should, you should do it segment by segment. Tighten up this camera a bit, but I don't want to fall off the roof. So I'm shooting this with three cameras. I've got uh, two contours, one here, one up there, and uh, a Canon HV40. So this is all in HD. Everyone's ever bugging me, why don't you do more stuff in HD? Pretty much all my cameras except for one are HD. And uh, it just takes too long to upload and, and cut. We've got an uphill piece where you know, we're going uphill. When, if you accelerate uphill, it's a bad thing, you know? You let off. Whoops. It's my phone. I went to press the LCD and I, I hit the phone button instead. The phone's really cool. You know, you got uh, all the stuff. Like, oops, sorry about that sun glare. You got, uh, you know, your 
your downloadable lists. I can call A1 Limo and pick me up to take me to the airport. Not that I can afford it. Let's go back to the info screen again. Info. Let's look at Eco Coach. Let's see how we're doing. So check this out. That last little segment, even though I was on it, it was a pretty good segment because I got a lot of coast time in. So jump on it when you need to. Coast when you can. And that's showing 50 mile per gallon for that little two minute or so segment. Let's go back to Blue Max. See how we're doing there. And we've got about three minutes and 49 seconds left and we're up to 25,000. Good change, not too shabby. Again, if you're crawling through town, you got a lot of stop and go, you're not going to be able to get the giant scores. The best score I was able to get uh, so far was 41,351. I've got a break here because we come into town and it's 25 miles an hour and there's, there's a revenue or there's always a cop looking to make you a ticket. So yeah, if you're in town, your in-town segments aren't going to be as high as your, as say, your back road stuff. Now the optimal thing is you're in six gear and you're able to cruise on a back road in the 40s and you're going to get some great numbers like that. Four-way stop. So this is pretty much all back road stuff. Everyone loves the, oh, sorry about that. Everyone loves the, uh, the hump test. We're gonna hit this hump at 20. Not too bad. Once you get comfortable with, with light-footed driving, you don't really need to look at that, uh, that upshift light. You pretty much know not to get your rest too high. But this section of road with all these speed bumps means that you're slowing down, you're speeding up a lot. Now obviously if you wanted to take the whole thing at 25 and just cruise, that'd be great, but that's a little punishing on the suspension. Shifter, awesome, awesome. It's uh, it's good, good. I, I did the zero to sixty last night. You'll see that later on in the video. You want to see the zero to sixty? It's later on in the video. And uh, I was able to nail it. The first one I went in too hard and got a bunch of wheel hop. And the second and third tries, I just did really, really well. And I got off the line with just hardly any wheel spin at all. Didn't catch second. It will. It will catch. And you can really smoke them. So, yeah, all that. Ride, short wheelbase. It's a little jouncy on rough roads, but that's you know kind of part of the territory. You come to expect that. So here we're we're winding down with Blue Max, coming down to the uh, 10 minute wire. Just about 37,000 so far. So this is a pretty good run. Good indication of of, uh, of what you can do with it in the right conditions. We'll do another one in town. It'll be a lot a lot different. Maybe we'll do that. We'll keep rolling. We'll go and reset it and crawl through Princeton. at 39 oh yeah we just got 39 so that was pretty good it really does it really does work it helps you become more efficient if we go over here and we'll take a look at the um, eco coach again we'll see what that looked like so we were you know, not as good here right you see the yellow in here that's because all that slowing down and speeding up 
more times you need to step on that accelerator pedal, the more pressure and duration, the more fuel you're going to use. That's just the way it works, kids. So again, this is not your overall number. This is just for the previous segment. Your overall number is down here. And uh, right now, right now I'm averaging 32.4 overall, which is not too shabby for a car with, uh, with a turbo in it. It's this much fun to drive.